Hey, Mr. Bit, BR Tidwell 55 here, and I just want to thank you for your fair and unbiased review of Windows 7. Uh, I've watched your stuff. Uh, I know that you're really a Mac guy at heart, and uh, but you've always been extremely fair. In, in the Mac versus PC debates and everything and uh, I just you know to see this uh, fair and unbiased review comes from you I think I think it really means it means a lot now I don't know if you've ever watched any of my stuff uh, I've been trying to uh, give a fair and unbiased review from the perspective of a a Linux convert uh, from uh, from Windows. Uh, my experience with Vista has been at work and it's not been positive. I'm not a fan. I'll take XP over Vista anyway. And I myself have been impressed enough, excuse me, with Windows 7 that uh, when it hits the streets officially and the first service pack comes out because it is a Microsoft product after all. Uh, I'll upgrade. I'll upgrade my XP partition anyway from uh, from XP to Windows 7. Uh, do have one quibble with you. Uh, you did say that you thought that uh, Vista had to be a whipping boy that uh, the market wouldn't accept the radical changes that comes with Windows 7 uh, without Vista to sort of take, be there to take the hits. I disagree with that in that I really think Windows 7 is the operating system that Vista should have been. Uh, I really think having used both Windows 7 Beta and uh, and Vista Enterprise that Windows 7 is a much more polished, much more refined, much smoother operating system than Vista is. I really think, you know, Vista is I really think the Vista is sort of the beta for Windows 7. Uh, but that's okay. You know, uh, we can agree to disagree on that. Uh, but overall, I do appreciate your review. I think it was very fair. I think it was very honest. And, and I think you did, uh, I think you did the entire community a service with that. And uh, just want you to know that I appreciate that. So uh, hope you post my response and uh, everyone else, thanks for watching.